Hello everyone. Today I want to uh, show you how to issue an agent to actually transform unstructured data into structured data. Uh, as you all know, there's a lot of unstructured data out there in data lakes and uh, hybrid cloud storage. And uh, some of this data is very hard to search or query or filter. Um, so we want to know uh, like how we can convert some of this data into a structured data so that we can easily search and query over it. Today's use case is I have a video of a kid running close to the pool. So the task is to identify at what time of the day the kid is out near the pool and also if they're very dangerously close to the pool. Um, I have a sample uh, script written here that uses a vision agent. Uh, and if you see here, um, they, I have two vision agents um, um, created here. One is called agent G A Agent GPD 4T. Age, the vision agent by default uses uh, the GPD 4 Turbo model as the LLM. But as you can see, you can change it to any other model. So I also have another vision agent which is created with AGPD 4 uh, O model, which got released yesterday. So we are recording this on May 14th, Tuesday. Uh, so yesterday we had the GPD 4 model. So I'm going to run uh, this use case on the default vision agent. So here's the prompt. Analyze the video and figure out if a child is getting very close to the pool, right? And read the timestamp that is on the bottom of the right of the image. Output a JSON with a list of timestamps, distance from the pool in pixels, and a corresponding tag danger if the child is within uh, 30 pixels from the pool. If not, output safe. Let's run uh, the vision agent with the GPT-4 Turbo and see what we get. So the model is planning now. And I'm going to go ahead and run the GPT-4. Oh. LLM in another shell, see what we get. Um, let me go over the planning. So I'm going to extract the frames from the video every two seconds. I'm going to run a grounding SAM model with the prompt child and the pool. And for each frame, it's going to use uh, OCR model to get the timestamp. So I don't know if you noticed, there's a timestamp on the bottom right here on the video. Uh, then it's going to use a, a tool called object distance to find the distance between the child and the pool. And if it's within 13 pixels, it's going to say like it's dangerous. If not, it's going to output uh, safe. The idea is to output a JSON, which is more of a structured data uh, from this video. Uh, let's see what the tools are doing. The one thing we found with the GPT-40 model is the planning is insanely fast. However, sometimes uh, it doesn't get the planning right. So there's a trade-off right there. Let's go over the GPT-40 turbo outputs. Then let's go and look at the GPT-40 outputs. It's, run, it's done running that model. Right now, it's running the OCR model uh, on each of these frames. Looks like it also got the timestamps for each of each frame in the video. That looks like correct output. And so the next task is for it to then calculate the distance between the pool and the person, then actually create this JSON. Let's switch back to GPT-4 because it can run a little faster. Uh, because of the planning is a little faster. Let's see how far it has done. Okay, so it's also done calculating the distances between the uh, pool and the person uh, in case it's a child. Here, GPT-4 Turbo, we're still working on it. One more thing I want to show you was in the vision agent repo as it, re as it keeps working on the problem. I have started adding quarter agents, which can output code, stop just like natural language. So like the main motivation behind this is uh, when we run uh, the vision agent on a problem, right? Uh, you want to able, you want to be able to take this code and run it again and again uh, on a use case so that I uh, can deploy it. So that's why we have added these quarter agents. We're working on a couple of them. I will add a link to uh, my colleague Dylan's post who introduced the agent quarter. So here's the agent quarter. If you want to go check it out, we're also going to have another quarter agent coming out soon. So let's get back to the use case. It's working on the. Uh, for each frame, it's, it's reminding you that whether the distance between the pool and the person is in 30 pixels. And then uh, probably it's going to create uh, a JSON in a minute. OK, it looks like it's done. So it looks like in frame one, the child and the pool are 254 pixels away. And the, the, the last two frames, they are much closer. OK, there it is. So that's the final JSON you have right here. So you have a timestamp, distance in pixels, and a tag. And the tag says, like, it's okay. The child is safe or in dangerously close to the pool. It also will output the um, example visualizations. Let's take that, uh, take a look at it in a minute. Uh, then you'll know, like, okay, there, there it is. Okay, that's the pool, the child. Remember, uh, in this use case, 
angle of the camera is such a way the pull is not actually uh, image aligned. Uh, it's like in a diagonal. So that's why you might have to run a, a segmentation model inside a bonding box model to get accurate distances. Looks like it chose the right tool. Uh, and let's see what the GPT-40 model did. Uh, here, GPT-40, it uses a grinding dyno model instead of grinding sim. See, uh, this is this is something we noticed. Sometimes the tool choice is a little off, uh, but still the plan looks okay. It uses OCR, so everything else looks similar. Let's look at the final output. Also got the JSON output ready, uh, but it looks like the pixels distance is 0 0.00, which is because probably it uses a grounding dyna model. In this case, it uses bonding box distance calculation, uh, which ends up being, being wrong, right? So, so there's subtle differences between the Turbo and the uh, GPT-4 all model. Um, I want to show you one more use case of if you run the same prompt, right, with a, a quarter agent, and what 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 do you get, right? So uh, I'm not going to run it now. I already ran it before I started this video. I just want to show you what the output will be. Uh, I ran the agent, um, and here it is. So the output is actually a code. So if you look at it, execute function, um, it's actually detecting person and the pool using the browning dyno, and across each direction, it's looking for uh, the pool bonding box and the person bonding box. It did, it did write its own code to calculate the distance between the person and the pool. In this case, it's just a bonding box, right? So I did not use the uh, segmentation distance tool to calculate that. Uh, it ran the OCR tool. So the, the code looks pretty neat. So it looks like it created um, a result list and also it appended a, a Python dictionary here with a timestamp, distance, and also a tag. Um, and it ran that code and got this output. So here, the distance is. I had to go figure out what the distance is, but it's basically the distance being calculated by the code that it wrote. So uh, we're going to have more updates soon. Uh, please uh, check out our Discord channel and go uh, play with our revision agent repository. We'd like, we'd like to have more feedback. Thank you.